Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a look at how we can use matrices on the Casio FX991 MS calculator. To do this we'll be using the mode key that looks like this located here, the shift key that looks like this located here, and the four key with the shift mode of matrix mode that looks like this located here. Now the first thing you're going to want to do if you're working with matrices is put your calculator into matrix mode. To do that you find the mode key right here and then press it one, two, three times until you see this menu here. And then this is our options of our different modes we can go into and we want to be in matrix mode which is mode number two. So we'll press two and you should see an MAT on the top of your screen now. That tells you you're in matrix mode and you're good to go first thing we want to do is enter matrices that we want to work with. So these are our first two examples. Matrix A, which is a 2 by 2 that looks like this, and matrix B, which is also a 2 by 2 matrix and looks like this. So to enter our matrices, we press Shift 4, and that brings up this menu here. And since we're entering new matrices, we want DIM, or dimensions, number 1 there, we press it and that brings us to this menu here, A, B, C. These are our three slots for matrices that we can enter. So we'll use the first one, press 1 to choose matrix A. Here we go. And now this is asking us the dimensions we want, M by N, which is rows by columns. M refers to rows. So since this is a 2 by 2, we'll press 2 equals, and then N for columns, we want 2 as well, so we press 2, enter, there we go. And that brings us here, where it asks us for matrix A, what is row 1, column 1? Well, for us, that's 2. And press enter, and then here we go, row 1, column 2, right there. It works like you're reading a book left to right, top to bottom. So for us that's one. There we go. Row two, column one, which is also one. And row two, column two, again, one. There we go. Now this matrix has been entered and you see it takes us back to our first row one, column one spot. So you can review that or edit if you want to. Now let's enter our matrix B, which we'll do the same way. We'll press Shift 4 to bring back that matrix menu. Choose number 1, DIM, and this time choose 2 for matrix B. Again, this is 2 by 2. And we enter it as we see it. So 2, negative 1, so we use the negative first this time. Negative 1 again. And two, there we go. Back to row one, column one there. We can confirm this if we want. And then when we're done, press shift four to go back to matrix mode. And we're ready to work with our matrices. First thing we'll do is let's do some basic matrix addition. So let's add matrix A and matrix B. To do that, we'll choose number three here which is selecting your matrix. Two, by the way, is edit, so we can go back in and edit our matrices if we have an issue or want to change that. But we're happy with the ones we have, so we'll go straight to three, and here we choose our matrix. A, B, C, and our fourth option, which is the answer or result of any sort of matrix calculations you might do. So we want to do A matrix plus shift matrix three, and then 2, there we go, matrix A plus matrix B, and we press equals, and you can see now we have the 1, 1 slot is 4, row 1, column 2 is 0, row 2, column 1, also 0, 
and row 2, column 2 is 3. And in the same way, we can multiply matrices by going shift, mat, there we go. If we want to multiply matrix A by matrix B, first we select matrix A, hit the multiplication key, then select matrix B, there we go, 2 for B, there we see mat A times mat B, or matrix A times matrix B, press equals, and here we go. So row 1, column 1 is 3, row 1, column 2 is 0, yep. Row 2, column 1 is 1, yep. And row 2, column 2 is 1 as well. We can also find the determinants of a matrix. For example, if we wanted to find the determinant of matrix A, first we go to the matrix menu, and if we hit to the right once, we get a new menu here. DET, which stands for determinant, and TRN, which stands for transpose. If we want to find the determinant of a matrix, first we hit 1, so that we see DET on our screen, then go back to our matrix menu, and choose the matrix we want to use. So for this example, we'll use matrix A, select 1 there, determinant matrix A, press equals, and we see we get a determinant of 1. We can also transpose matrices. So for this example, let's add a new matrix to our calculator in the C slot. So we'll choose 3, there we go. Remember, it's asking us how many rows and columns. So for this example, we'll do a 2 rows by 3 columns matrix. So for this, 2 rows and 3 columns. There we go. So, there we go, 1, 1 is 1. Here we go, is 0, and row 1, column 3 is a negative 1, 0, negative 1, and 1. There we go, we've entered this matrix into our matrix C slot. Now, if we want to transpose this matrix, again, we go back to our matrix menu, go to the right one, and select TRN, number 2 there. So we get that on our screen, and then select our matrix by going back to our matrix menu, going to 3, there we go, and selecting number 3 for matrix C. There we go, transpose matrix C, press equals, matrix answer, row 1, column 1 is 1, row 1, column 2 is 0, and you can see now, if we keep going over, we're down into row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2, row 3, column 1, and row 3, column 2. So our C matrix has been transposed. Finally, we can also inverse matrices on this. To do this, first we place the matrix on the screen. For this example, let's choose our A matrix. So we go choose matrix A with 1, there we go. And then we use the inverse key on our calculator. That's this x to the power of minus 1 right here. Press that, and we press equals. And you can see now, here we go, matrix 1, 1. This is our original matrix A, and this is our inverse. So we have 1 in our row 1, column 1 slot, negative 1, negative 1, and 2 as matrix A inversed. Now when we're done with this, and we want to get out of matrix mode so that we can do normal calculations, we do this by pressing the mode key once, to get to this screen here, 
And then we want to go into comp mode. So we press 1. And you'll see the matrix from the top has disappeared. And we're back into our normal mode and can go about our normal calculations. Alright, I hope this helps. And good luck on those tests out there, everybody.